Welcome back to Bedrock. The next horde is just around the corner and our base is basically made out of paper, so the goal over the next few days will be to finalize the new base layout and get started on upgrades. We'll also need to do a trader run and perhaps some exploration while we're at it, and we're also running dangerously low on resources, so some mining and harvesting is in order too. But it's time to get out of this cave and into the blaze, so let's begin. Right, first thing on the docket for today is I gotta get those two clothing pocket mods that I found the book for yesterday. That's two of those, and we'll have the backpack 100% unlocked on day 19. Yeah, not too bad, I guess. Okay, the next thing is I want to get a steel shovel so that, you know, if I can't get the grave digger mod, was today trader day? Today is trader day. If I can't get a Grave Digger mod today, oh, should I wait? Oh, geez, I should probably wait and see if I could buy one, right? Okay, that means we'll have to do a trade around bright and early this morning, and geez, okay, so if we don't get one from the first one, we gotta go to the second one, and on and on and on, so that could be a whole drawn out process. We've gotta do it anyway, so just stash that stuff in there for the moment, turn off the tracking on that. I also made a Thick 44 flag this morning, because I realized that I don't have one here in the base just yet, and I think there's a, like, yeah, a top version, so I can just kind of... Oh, why does that happen? How about something like that for now, and then maybe someday I'll find some other decorations to kind of put on the other half of the wall. Okay, so what that means today is that we're going to have to do a bit of a sell-off so we can get a little bit of extra money. And we need to also probably decide which of these things we should repair for maximum sell value. All right, we're topside. Everything is all packed up, ready to go. I got some mods thrown on to the quality six items or quality five in some cases just to get the most sell value. And I've got some stone to sell. Let's head to Trader Jen's first. Also, it might look different up here. That's because last night I clear cut this little forest over here. There's also a wolf just sleeping on the friggin' hill over there. All right, I'll meet you over at Jen's then. All right, I've just taken the sugar butt and I'm gonna go buy myself an awesome sauce as well. So drink the awesome sauce and we'll do the big sell off to start with. And hopefully Jenny's got some stuff that we can buy. Okay, that's it. Oh, geez, we're up to 28,000. Okay, very quickly now, let's just check the inventory here. Anything we need. Home cooking, sure. Explosive magazines, yes. Robotic drone cargo mod schematic. You know, if I ever get the drone, that would be something I'd want to put onto it. And, uh, oh, wow, look at that compound crossbow sitting there, level five. Should I do it? That's like half of my money. You know what? I don't think I really need that. I have other priorities, like buying maybe like steel armor or something like that. Okay, so can we now make it? What do we got? We've got three minutes left on the sugar butt at least. Maybe we can make it over to... Who's closer, Hugh or Bob? I, they're like equidistant. Okay, let's try Hugh. All right, I've made it to Hughes, and I've got 30 seconds, and I've, man, I've stirred up a whole bunch of zombies on the way here. We're gonna have to fight them off on the way out. 26 Please seconds, Hugh, right what do you have for sale? Oh, a tactical AR, wow, okay. And just quickly sell him whatever he'll take, I guess. Okay, shotgun books, and I just bought a whole stack of glue. <laughs> Not even sure how much that was, but time has run out, so we can take our time now. Oh, look at that. He's got a quality five seal sledge as well. He's packing a whole bunch of leather armor here. Very tempting, but I'm moving over to steel now. Iron or steel. Despite the fact that I haven't... Oh, look at the duct tape. You know what? Taking it. Grenades... 20 of them? Sure. And that'll just about do it for him, I guess. So, um, so yeah, on my, on my way over here, I saw the airdrop. You can, I think you could, that's the marker for it right there. 489 meters. First of all, where's all these zombies? So I think what we'll do is, while we're in town here, we'll do that POI that the airdrop landed on. It's the, uh, it's the old dumpin' lung. It's got a new name now, so we'll go check that out. I will meet you there. All right, here we are, the Bear Inland Coal Mining, formerly known as the Dumpin' Lung, which I think I like the name Dumpin' Lung a lot better. As I was on my way over here, I did find a couple of books. One was the Magnum Enforcer book here. That's the one with the 44 gun drawn, gives you 5% better deal, and a wiring magazine. Right, oh, you can see the airdrop right up there on the top of the roof, so that's where we're heading first, I think. But if they've changed the name here, I presume that they've changed a lot more. So we'll have to see if the hidden stash is still where it's supposed to be and everything else, I guess. And we've got another airdrop coming in here today somewhere. That airdrop is uh, sort of on the way home. Okay, so usually the trick is you kind of work your way over here, and that's the hidden stash right there. Just got to do the, the whole parkour course to get there. Here we go. Oh. A little bit difficult with parkour level two. We'll make it. And I mean, oh, there's the, the thing right there. Well, if I do the eye candy now, that's six minutes. I bet we can get to the main loot within six minutes. Yeah, why not? No sense in just hanging on to it. What do we get here? No, not much. A little bit of ammo, I think. Then that way we can uh, 
bust this open and get that. Ooh, okay. Crafting skill, ammo, crafting bundle, and forge ahead with some breakfast. Which is good because I didn't pack any. Okay, we're on the clock now, though. Is there anything over here? Nope. Okay, down to... Where do I go from here, anyway? Is it uh, just down through here, I guess? Yep, that looks about right. Oh, there's coal here, too. We can get the coal. We need to get the coal, actually. Where's the utility workers? I know that's this place is going to be packed with them. Whoop, there's bow. That's a feral bow, too, isn't it? It is prismatic. What's up, prismatic? Get out of here. It okay, doesn't look like much. Just a bunch of bows down here. Whoa, and a soldier. Ow. Oh, man. Whoop. Ooh, jeez. Need to get my timing right today, don't I? I definitely stirred up a um, tourist or something topside. I just heard him grumble a little bit. There's my utility worker, which means we're at the end, I think. It's just a tier one usually, so... I don't imagine anything's changed here. We're gonna call this one Mrs. Bojangles. Another bow, John Victor. Goodbye, Mr. Bojangles. Oh no, they've they've fixed it, I guess, because the, there used to be a hidden stash buried under all the stuff here. It's still a hidden stash. <laughs> You're kidding me? Okay. Well, they, maybe they want to put some more rubble in here or something. I don't know. But two hidden stashes for one tier one POI is um, a little on the heavy end of things, I would say. What do we get here anyway? Ah, really nothing. All right, well, we gotta do some mining now. I think that'll just about do it here. That puts me up to a little over 5,000 on the coal front, and... Oh, jeez. Have I just made this terribly inconvenient for me to get out of here? Not for long. Yep, should be able to go right straight up through here, correct? That appears to be the case. Anyway, that's great, because uh, we can't... We don't have really much access to coal in the desert, and I think there's... Uh, historically, there's been another whole vat of coal back here. Let's just check on that. Yes, there's some extra coal in there. If we ever need a little bit more and we're in town, we can grab that. Okay, so that should set us up really nicely on gunpowder for a bit. What I want to do... See, okay, we've gotten that airdrop before. We have not gone to see Wrecked yet, though. Let's just poke our head into that town and see what's over there. Just gonna pop this cop car on the way over, and we'll deal with that on the way back. Or... Nope, nobody spawned on that one. Yeah, like, when I was reading the game files originally, it does say that there's supposed to be a chance. I thought it was a 20% chance. I'd have to go back and double check, but it seems like every time I've done it, I've seen things spawn. But in this case, we got a little bit lucky. Oh, and then there's this new passing gas over here. Man, I've got to do that. Maybe if we have enough time, we can do that today. But no, for now, we're off to see Trader Wrecked. Finally made it to Trader Rex here. I will quickly just check his compound. I'll check like the, the big things like these because you get magazines out of them sometimes. So oh, speaking of magazines, I got that bundle here and that's uh, not going to fit in the inventory. Here we go. So hammered, handy land and shotguns. There's your forge ahead right there. Nice. All right. Last pair here. Another forge ahead. Man, getting lucky here. Nothing in that one, though. All right, let's greet Wrecked here. Anything good here? Eye candy? Okay, I've already used one of those today, so it's good to replenish. And yes, just basically just here to get a look at his inventory. Okay, Wrecked doesn't have very much, but look at this. What he does have is a water purifier mod. That is an excellent find. Now we need to just set up some kind of a well system at home so that we can drink murky water for no penalty at all. And while I'm at it, I think I'll take a few of these magazines, like these explosive ones. Oh, of course, you now I have to tea, read huh? those. Well. I'll take the cooking ones. And why not, while I'm at it, I'll just take the... Uh, farming ones too. All right, that'll just about do it for this guy. Now the inventory is 100% full, so there's really no sense in doing any looting around here. I think what we need to do now is just head home and get ready for the big building project tonight. 
And on our way there, we'll stop by that airdrop. All right, here we are. I've just been chopping down a whole bunch of trees along the way, so I've been stacking up some wood. We're gonna need the wood to do the frames tonight, so we got a little bit of that stuff to spare. Um, where even are we right now? Okay, right on this road that I've never found before. I've just been going cross country every single time. So, okay, Rekt is pretty far out there, but at least there's a road leading directly to him. Oh, a hundred cobblestone cube shapes, which I would have wanted more than that. So it used to be 500. You'd get a whole stack of them, right? But, yep, not anymore, I guess. What do I do here? What do I do? What do I do? We scrap the bullet tips, I guess. All right, let's go home and do some construction. Okay, everything seems to be put away and reorganized. I did pick up the farm, harvested all the crops, and picked up the farm plots because they are now going to live down here and I should be able to fit nine of them and kind of like sandwich them in between the dew collectors. We'll put another nine over here eventually. And I can't of course uh, put the crops in right now because we haven't dug the skylight, which will be right there all the way up to the surface. Maybe we'll do that tonight. In terms of the skill crafting magazine bundle, ooh, vehicle adventures, very nice because I'm getting real sick of driving that mini bike. Tools digest, doesn't do anything for us. And Handyland, almost maxed out on that one. And the ammo crafting bundle, just, you know, normal stuff. Okay, but the first thing I want to do tonight is get this situation out here finalized. <sighs> and I've decided I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it out of wood. I'm gonna do it out of wood so that I can get everything, you know, put into place the way I like it. And then I'll just, um, upgrade it from there this room in here i already know what i want to do so i'll use the 200 or so cobblestone cube shapes that i got uh, that i have in order to get this all done up tonight and then tomorrow i can already tell we're gonna have to focus a lot on perhaps tree chopping and perhaps also digging up clay soil to make more cobblestone worry about that later for now we got to finish things off in here and before i get started i'm gonna bring some of these lanterns with me can i just reach and grab that thank you one here now that i think about it i ought to just craft a few more of these things they're very handy there we go okay we can see something now okay the first trick is i'm gonna take these ends off because i've thought of a better system that's just gonna be elbows pointing down and i'm gonna bring these all the way to the floor and then of course it needs to look fancier than that so now that i've got these in place let's um take some of these out and see if i can get some good spike action in here so it's gonna be this with a spike sticking out of it basically as for this middle pillar here, uh, I think I'm just going to replicate what we did on this. So it's going to look nice and uniform. So get rid of that stuff. And then on the top, how about we do this uh, this plate thing right here? And then basically there's going to be a door that's attached to the side of this. And it's going to kind of flip outward this direction. Maybe I can put like a regular door in there for a second. Just for a proof of concept here. Right, because usually what I tell people to do is do, do your doors on face in this orientation. But I've done testing in Alpha 21 and it seems to be working to just have your doors... Oh boy. In um, this orientation like this. I guess we'll see. Whoops, I'm hungry. Give me a... Uh, take five. <laughs> okay, so at this point... It should be stable enough to take off these little support brackets that I put on here. So we'll remove those. And um, I was thinking, you know, what if we did, because I really want to put spikes here. Here, I'll just show you what that looks like on face. Just plug these in. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like it. Almost looks like icicles coming off the bottom, right? So that's pretty cool. I was also thinking, though, wouldn't it be cool to put like a, a railing underneath it? Let me just uh, see what that would look like. Like a pole centered like this, kind of running along the bottom of it. Ah, that does look pretty cool too, doesn't it? Yeah, sort of like that. Ooh, that looks... It looks nice, but you know what? It's going to be all weird once we get it over to this side. So I'm going to stick with the spikes. The thing is, like these poles, they give you some utility as well, because if the pipe breaks they'll be able to, to walk along the pole system, but that's why we have redundancy on that side. So I think, you know, one redundancy system is enough. Okay, and then theoretically we can continue with the spike system here. Although I know for a fact that zombies are just gonna get stuck on these and they're gonna beat on them. And that's the other thing. This base is gonna be very susceptible to rage mode zombies because when they fall down here, they're just gonna rage on the ladder and the supports and the wall of the, the side here. So. 
yeah, uh, I think eh, it's it's going to be fine. I never said this was the most efficient, best base design you could possibly come up with. I just wanted to do it because it's fun. So if, if you're doing a base like this too, and then the, the raged, enraged zombies destroy your base, uh, you know, I am not accepting liability for that. Okay, so um, I don't like these big pipes because for some reason they've made these big pipes, but they haven't made a good elbow for them. So I can't like curve it, you know, nicely. There's just this weird end piece right here so I, I have decided against that so i'm gonna remove this and we're gonna find a different block to put here w what are our options anyway we could do a regular pipe like this but then the ladders won't really flush up against it very well Let's see one two three we could just do a regular pipe here and then span the distance with like security gates or something like that you know what we could do uh we could do two two of them just like we did before um Okay, I just had like a spark of inspiration. Give me a second to work all this out. All right, all right, all right, here's what I got. Tell me what you think of this. So, okay. Start at the bottom here. We've got a pipe going up, and then we've got these, like, they're splicing out in order to make, like, a bit of a canopy so that the zombies falling down, instead of just landing right here in the walkway and disrupting the zombies that we're trying to get to path up to us, they're gonna get deflected off by this middle pipe on the top, and we can put spikes on top. Not that it's gonna actually do damage, but it'll at least look cool to watch zombies kind of impale themselves on some spikes sticking up out of those pipes right there. Spikes and pipes, that's the theme of this base here. <laughs> okay, I think uh, I think this is gonna work. The only thing I'm worried about right now at the moment is, uh, let's see, give me a spike. Okay, centered pyramid peas on face. If I put a spike like that, is there ever going to be a scenario where a zombie wants to break through this block, jump on top of this block, and then jump down on this block? Because that'll kind of negate the the whole, like, door thing. I'm not sure. I think we'll have to just give this a fair test run during Horde Night and see what happens. And in the meantime, we gotta get this all upgraded to at least cobblestone, and if not... Uh, concrete in many places like the front here and the ladders down below it's okay it's okay i think we can do upgrading well it's day 20 so you know we could do upgrading tomorrow and um let's just maybe get this up to w as much wood as possible that way i have some indication of how much wood i need to go chop uh and or you know blocks that need to be replaced with just like plain cobblestone cubes okay so with that that didn't last long did it man i need a lot of resources to finish this project off so i think i'll just replace the ladder outright with cobblestone cube shapes i don't know what we'll do quite yet with the the whole door system if we'll just leave that be for now i mean we're not going to be able to transfer them so this whole side over here is just for <laughs> Just for symmetry's sake, for now, it's not going to be any sort of a real fighting position. We'll still have to do all of our fighting on one side until we get the electronics. Still much to be done, but I want to finish this project off here. We'll do a quest or something today, and then all day tomorrow we'll be focused on resource collection and upgrades here at the base before we then fight the horde. Okay, I have a much clearer idea of how I want to do this side, though, so it shouldn't be as much of a hassle. And, oh geez, I'm just so totally out of resources. Um, how about though, while we're waiting, we just get a little bit of cobblestone rolling. Oh, there was the whole issue of the shovel. Yeah, I don't think I saw a Grave Digger mod, but then again, I wasn't specifically looking for one. So anyway, let's just get ourselves a steel shovel and call it good. And hopefully with the increased block damage from that, we'll be one-shotting soil blocks. Although the last time that was my plan, I failed. <laughs> Although, I don't know, it, we we were successful with the level 4 pickaxe, so maybe we'll be successful with the level 4 shovel. And as I said that, I realized how ridiculous it sounded. Oh wait! Oh, there's a whole bunch of wood right there! Right, because I put the wood in the workbench because I was making stuff and I wanted it all together. So, okay, we do have quite a bit of wood left. Okay, let's get to work down here then. It's really not terribly complicated. I'm just gonna start by filling in the corners over here. And then I'm gonna just do like the border basically all the way around because this is what we're, we're gonna be attaching the floor to. So it's quite important to have this part upgraded. All right, time to pull the floor up. We're gonna put the permanent floor in today. And basically I think what that's gonna consist of are plate brackets. We use the same shape to hold up the storages. Then after that, of course, we're doing the strategically placed security gates, which will be allowing I don't know if we're going to say allow, allowing dew into the dew collector, if that's even like a thing. It uh, 
it's not really how it works but anyway it has to be a uh, five block spaces above them have to be clear or occupied by certain block shapes and so this is going to be counting as one of those and we'll have those uh in the middle above the farm plot blocks as well to be our, our light source and then after that just a bunch of plates the thing is there was one thing i wanted to do i wanted to have this like the open like an open area in the middle and i wanted to also see if there was a way to maybe make it so that there was like like a hoist in the middle you know as if we were trying to like move stuff from the top to the bottom but i'm gonna have to play around with the blocks to kind of see if i can get that straightened out so then just put some rails around the edge and some spiral pillar blocks to um, kind of dress up the corners there a little bit very nice very nice i like that a lot so let's just go ahead and get this set up once and for all i will need nails and storages sorry nails and wood to make storage just one i think will do for now at least and then what I really want to do is put like a chain, but I don't think the chain is actually a craftable block. Chain, chainsaw, yeah. Maybe it's under like metal fences, metal trussing and eye beams maybe. I really don't know. Well, I'll sort that out another day. For now, I will just put a some sort of a regular block in here. We'll make it look as if it's like um like a cable, I guess. Put a cube there. Is this where we want it right here or because what I want it to be is I want it to be a transfer box. So if we drive in here and we need to like put our stuff away, am I going to be able to reach that high or should we go? I think we should probably go one lower here. Let's see if I can stick it to that. And yep, that should all hold barely. We'll have to be careful when we're expanding the, the rooftop up that we don't make it all collapse. That'd be great. So we can drive in, put our stuff in here, head upstairs and then transfer it into the regular storages. Okay. There's our do collector holes. Okay. Just double checking that that is working. And oh, also lots of water. Yes. These are all working. And then the light spots right here. Okay. Let's do the light thing right now and get that over with. There's no easy way to do it. The only way I know of to do it, you know, with 100% accuracy is to go from the bottom to the top. It would be a lot easier to go from top to bottom, but um, I wouldn't be able to line things up properly, I don't think. Well, it's turning into a whole ordeal because a freaking wandering horde came by and jumped down into the hole with me. All right, on to the second side now. Holy crap, I did it <laughs> after all this. Oh my goodness, look at all this mess up here we have to deal with. And you know what? I don't even think I can make like a stone... Okay, I could make destroyed stone, not ideal, but yeah, I need the cement mixer to make like the regular stone blocks because that's what I would really like to fill all of this crap in. Look, look, they've dug a big hole over here. They've got a big hole over here going down three or four blocks. And if any of these holes becomes deeper than that pillar right there, that little thing that's jutting out, uh, they'll, they'll preferentially go to that and start digging versus jumping down to that. So it's kind of like a race against time to get all these things filled in. Fortunately, they will not, I don't think they will use these uh, things here that I've dug because um, these, in fact, uh, they don't see this as a, anything that they can jump down to. There's nothing down there that they can jump onto. Uh, all we have to do here is, uh, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna like, like dig it out a little bit and I'm gonna make a nice little like sewer cap kind of thing for it. Kind of like that. And I'm just going to leave that there for a minute because I've actually got to go back down there to, uh, <laughs> to take up all the frames. Okay, so we drop down in, we seal it up behind us, and then all the way down to the bottom. Same thing here. We just take that up, jump down in, seal it up behind us, all the way down to the bottom. And now let's get the seeds and see if it all worked. All right, it's giving me green lights. That means it's working. Nice. And we have plenty of room down here for the bigger crops, like the corn. And I think I'll just go with more potatoes and some coffee. And over here, oh, I don't know, some uh, blueberries, I guess. And then I'll just keep the mushrooms down here for now as well. Just, you know, I don't know, stick them to the wall somewhere. Kind of stands to reason we should probably get uh, eight more farm plots, though. That'll basically use almost all of the remaining clay soil. So we have got to go dig that. Speaking of, there's the new shovel. Okay, what's the block damage on this? 122. Oh, geez. And, and the two mods. Ah, I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, well, we have to try it out. Jeez, I might just be like burning through a whole bunch of steel for absolutely no benefit. Anyway, we've made some excellent progress today. All we need to do now is focus on resources for the next day or two. And uh, do we'll do a quest right now. It's still early in the day. And we'll kind of see where that takes us. And hopefully we'll be able to do some digging along the way. Are you kidding me? I just lost a zombie down the freaking chute. 
Oh, and I just leveled up and I got a loot bag off of her. Wow, okay, so two skill points. Let's just spend those. I'm tempted to start going into mother load now that we've finished off minor 69er. Got another zombie lurking up there and for some reason stuck on everything. Wanna just drop down here. Oh, the deflector worked great. <laughs> That's a cool addition. Okay, yep, yeah, grab that. And oh yeah, we gotta eat before we go too. Good thing that happened. Okay, for now, I'm gonna go just two points into flat mother load and that'll help out with like the clay soil and everything else. All right, we'll get some food and I'll meet you at Jen's. Jenny! Ooh, special jobs. Oh, Southwest. That, oh, Bobby. Yeah, Bobby in the wasteland. Okay, we've got, ooh, okay. Tier three, uh, tier four infested clear. I don't want to do restore power, fetch and clear. Where's this going to be? Mavisgate High School. Okay, what, what about the infested one? What's that going to be? Passing Gas Plaza. Oh yes, that's a really cool one. Let's go do that. Okay, there, I feel like there's potential for absolute pandemonium here, so I cannot wait to get started. Where's my quest marker? Over here. I've also got a zombie beating somewhere. Oh, okay, Arlene, yes. Don't uh, don't blow anything up. You'll cause a chain reaction. I almost guarantee it. Uh, speaking of that, chain reaction, huh? Uh, okay, okay. What if I had some dynamite? Do I have any dynamite at the base? I feel like, um, I feel like that'd be a very, uh... <laughs> spectacular explosion here. If only I had some explosives to kind of set it all off. This is not going to do enough. Uh, I can't make the barrels, can I? I can make burning barrels, but I can't make the explosive barrels. Okay, so what I could do is... Mm, what happens if you, like, bring the hit points all the way down to, like, 10? And then you shoot it. Uh, then they all blow up, right? Well, let's... Let's, let's give that a... Um, uh, let's just get it prepared. Okay, maybe these are the ones that are better off. These ones I think will blow up if if you get it down far enough. Okay, okay. So I think if I took a shotgun and I and I shot that car, I think it would blow up and I think it also might blow up everything else. So, if we get into a really sticky situation here, we're going to run out here, string the zombies in between the cars, blow this car up and call it good. Probably it's not even going to work, but I'm willing to give it a try. Okay, how are we looking on ammo? We're looking pretty good. We're loaded. I need to get the pump shotgun. That needs to be uh, on the agenda for things to do. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna like pin the recipe or something, but I'll save that for later. Okay, yep. Rad already. Get out of here. And get down. Doing good so far. Just whoop, whoop, whoop. Corey over here is doing the ducking and dodging trick and light foo-foo. Slightly out of stamina. Okay, got one more good hit in me. And just finish him off. There we go. On our first room and things are already getting pretty terrifying. I can't wait to do an infested tier five. I still haven't done one. I've been saving it for like a regular series because I, I just want to experience it the way it was meant to be done. I think we're heading upstairs now. Upstairs and we got a nice... Oh, jeez. Got a nice little bottleneck here. Is that all going to be a trap? Okay, I don't want to... No, no, I don't think so. Oh, oh, got another one here. Jeez. Whoa, and I fell down. Guess I'm going through. Whoa, oh, okay, it's just here. That's not too bad. Okay, we've got two awake. Uh, it's, it's just a cop. Just a cop, yeah. Okay, if I can get you to blow, though, that would be entertaining. There, he's going to blow. And you guys stay in there. Whoa. Did that help at all? <laughs> I don't really know. Oh, these lumberjacks, man. They are insane. I guess that's what you bring the guns for, right? So that's what it's gonna be, huh? We're just gonna be like ferals and rads everywhere. Yep, somebody in here. Oop. <laughs> nice one there, buddy. Okay, let's just um, get a little bit of an egress route here. You never know. You might need to run away very quickly. Oh, going to the rooftop now, which is great. Of course, I have the dukes on me, so I can just dive off the top when the time comes. If the time comes. Oh, jeez. And parkour will get me up to safety. Oh, jeez. Maybe not. Ow. Okay, just uh, just long enough, basically, to survey the situation here. Looks like just a bunch of regulars here. Okay, that takes care of that. I saw another hatch over here. Oh, to an ammo pile. Bunch of freaking junk in there. Oh, and then it's pointing down... Wants me to go down here, I guess. Well, can we one-shot the pallets at least? It looks like it. Did I just see radiation? Yes, I did. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. These stupid rats. They're too strong. Stay in there. 
burn for a second. Also, should think about maybe getting a rad remover onto this at some point, although you know, I think probably burning shaft is better than rad remover. I do have a rad remover on the shotgun though. The thing is, HP generation on a rad is it's kind of slow, and if you're just going to be sitting there hitting them repeatedly, it's, um, you know, you're going to kill them before they've really regenerated a whole lot of HP. Okay, I'm doing a really bad job of sneaking, turning every corner and just triggering all the zombies. Tools digest. Little wall safe here, five sledgehammer parts, just like a tier five sledgehammer sitting right in there, basically, in pieces. All right. Oh, it's another lumberjack. Are you kidding me? Oh boy, lumberjack and his buddy, a freaking cop. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him blow just for the fun of watching it. Oh, that didn't work quite as well as I had imagined. Here, get some first aid kit into me. <laughs> get some first aid kit. Yeah, get some first aid onto me. I always say into me. That's kind of an intimate way of saying it. I don't know oh, why I say it like that. Because if you're taking a painkiller, you want to get it into you. But if you're taking, and if you're taking like an injection, like you know steroids or morphine, you want to get that into you, right? But I don't necessarily want to put a first aid bandage inside me. Okay, and why do I get suspicious vibes in here? Oh, the suspicious stuff is going on in here. Okay, we've got a bottleneck here. If we need, we got a couple actually, so that's good. To Ooh, hello there, Cajun. Nice to meet you. Anybody else hiding in here? Just the one? Oh, did you survive that? Wouldn't mind getting some food for the big fight here. Cat food, not exactly what I was looking for. Okay, I'm getting like, this is, we're getting toward the end. This looks like a big room here. Kind of wonder if there's going to be a button to open up like the front door. That way we can just kind of string the zombies outside and then, then execute the plan that we had. Oh, ooh, okay. Um. Maybe just get up here and have a look around. Yes, we got rads kind of everywhere. Oh, there's another freaking rad, rad over there. Yes, um, hmm. Doesn't look like this is gonna be a good place for my plan. I can't get outside from here. Look at this. Ah, okay. On to the next shelf here. Oh, ooh, that hurt bad. Okay. Get a couple of pipe bombs down there for those guys. Not sure that that did anything at all. Guys are like immune to everything. Okay, that's another one down. There we go. We're clear. First aid on to me, please. Snag the steel out of that. Yeah, see, I was trying to see if I could. Let's just make a way out of here real quick so that we can, you know, escape if we have to. There we go. Ah, ATM. Oh, a thousand bucks. Nice. And an old hunter's journal book. So remember I was talking a, a while back about the the hunter's journal book that says, you know, more damage to humans. Um, someone did check the game files for me on that one and report it and then sent me a screenshot of it. So yeah, it's confirmed that that hunter's journal is good for, um, for zombies in addition to humans. Still looking for that book though. That's going to be a good, good find once we get it. All right, food is good for first aid in a pinch and I'd rather kind of save my bandages for, you know, in cases of severe bleeding. Uh, yeah, no need to search through clothing. I've already got enough of that stuff to sell still. Ooh, yes, working vending machine, nice. Okay, hackers. We could do a little bit of hacking on the way out of here if I don't end up blowing it all up my on the way out, you know? Oh, Adam junkies as well. Oh, okay. Could be useful because um, I might wanna blow some zombies up here in the in the final room, okay. Yes, I can definitely, that's the that's the last room right there. We'll see if we can string those zombies outside and blow them up. A little bit of extra first aid here. And of course, we're just going to do the trick here where we can keep the, oh, look at all that stuff. Yeah, just give me all of this. Nice. And then, like, leave it there. Yeah, whatever. And then just see if I can get the acid. Nice. Got the acid and the cloth. <laughs> what a cheese move. Uh, that's why I love it. I'm going to just stash the uh, inventory. Uh for a second here. Okay, Arlene, no, you're gonna get us all killed here. And another one. Yeah, put that stuff away. Ooh, wait a minute. Um, I want that uh, painkiller and first aid kit on me, please. Yes, everything. Okay, we're on to the main fight here, I think. Right in here, just replenish my stamina. And do you think, do you see a button over there anywhere? I do, is that a button right there? Because I'm imagining that those back doors open up somehow. Okay, we don't want that. 
trigger zone. Ah, run. Yep, they're coming. They're coming. Okay, yes. String them into the vehicles. This is the one right here that we're going to blow up. Uh, wait. Is it that one? Oh, no. No, 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 no. It didn't work because I reset the freaking POI. Oh, jeez. In that case, I'm just going to hide up here. And I don't know what I'm going to do now. Try to blow that car up, maybe. Wait a minute. If I could just, if I could just reach that. Oh, there's a feral white. Uh, a couple of them. Here, you guys want to do the job for me? There you go. Break that vehicle, I dare ya. There we go. Oh, no, it didn't work. Well, I killed a couple at least. Ah, well, in that case, that's unfortunate. You gotta bring dynamite to this place. That's what you gotta do. I think I can take the rest of these guys though, hopefully. Get a good couple of group knockdowns. There we go. Toss in a couple of pipe bombs for them, why not? Whoa, fast mover here. Ow, okay. Yeah, going up and down on the cars <laughs> really confuses them. Okay, that I think uh, will do it. Yes, we're all clear here. Very nice. Another ATM as well. Okay, unlock this one. We'll do uh, a looting candy and then we'll loot up the whole place. Okay, and I'm like 99.9% .9 positive that eye candy will not affect the amount of money you get out of an ATM, but I'm gonna do it anyway. If anything, just to <laughs> escape the comments. All right, what do we get for good loot in here anyway? Yeah, these shelves are not gonna have any sort of loot stage dependent items, I don't think. Oh, okay, all the loot's up here on the lift. Cool. Okay. Oh, look, a crossbow. We. Oh, thank goodness we didn't spend all that money on a crossbow this morning. That would have been tragic. Oh, there's a button right there. Okay, good to know. Keep that in mind for the next time I'm here. This should be, uh, well, there's a chance to get an engine off that at least. No cigar on that one. Anything down here? Okay, get a little bit of gas, I guess. And, oh, what's this? Hidden purse. Interesting. See, this is what we need. We need a, a few of these rusty barrels to be, like, scattered in amongst the cars. That would make it really fun. Oh, 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 infested supply cache, too. Almost missed it. Wow. Good amount of stuff in there. Mostly ammo. I wish there was something more interesting in those. Okay, take the paper with me if I can get it. Good. And let's get out of here. We do have three minutes left on the looting candy, so I'm gonna just kind of survey the area and... Oh, you know what though? I really want Whoops. I wanted to do the uh, the hacker's candy and get all the uh, steel out of these the uh, gas pumps. There's so much that I want to do right now. <laughs> all right. No, no. We got enough loot today. We don't need to, you know, fuss about maximizing the looting candy. Let's get some forged steel. That's good for 22 more steel. Plenty of cars here to do too if we wanted to. You know, I don't really need car things right now. I need clay soil more than anything. Maybe that's what we spend our night doing is just digging up some soil. Yeah, let's do that. And if I can find somewhere to loot in the next, you know, 120 seconds, we'll do that as well. I didn't really see anything that I haven't looted yet. So I guess we're just gonna stop in with Jen and get our quest reward. And oh, reward. that's garbage. I guess I'm gonna take the uh, forged steel yet again. That'll do, we'll get a job from her tomorrow. So in the waning hours then, what we need to do is get clay soil. Clay soil so that we can make cobblestone so that we can finish upgrading the base. We should be good on wood. I think we're fine. Yep, we just need clay soil. And look at this field right here, right full of it. The question really is, are we one-shotting it? Yes, wow, thank goodness, okay. Oh, uh, the Hunic Farms, right. This is the area where we got attacked by the boar that one time. <laughs> I, he's probably respawned too, so be wary of that. Although I'm much more prepared for combat than I was the last time I was here. Well, I am now at least. All right, so it's a little past 2100. I'm just gonna sit here for basically until I finish harvesting up all the soil in this entire field. Then I'm gonna head back to the base, just do some, you know, light upgrades, make some cobblestone, stuff like that. We'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.